wondering about the maturity of simulation in the medical space. I mean, obviously for engineers working, let's say in turbo machinery, for example, it's pretty common to use CFD. How long does it exist to use simulation in the medical space? Is it a new thing? Is it a bit older already? Like, what would you say? Depends. <laughs> so computational modeling and simulation is used, used actually a long time. So for example, with dialysis, these machines do like for 20, 25 years, they calculate what happens to your system when you mm -hmm. bring more fluid into your body or you're exchanging fluids. So there's actually like algorithms are used for, for like almost centuries. So 20, 30 years. And but what is new is really that use and leverage finite elements, CVD and, and other technologies and bring it into medical devices and medicine. So that is actually new. There are some companies and also very successful other companies who are doing it. For for example, Heartflow is an is an company in in California which is which is already has a reimbursement. So they get Per simulation, they get one thousand eight hundred dollars for their treatment because they save a lot of money for the healthcare system and also have a very or just great opportunity for the patients because they don't have to do an uh, an very invasive treatment in in the CT and with a with a cardiac catheter. So that is really really awesome technology and very simple. Also, they're doing CFD simulations of the cardiac vessels and and uh, combining it with ai so it's really cool it's it's new it is there since a few years and yeah. and like for for biomechanic and research is is like done for for centuries but it's not made the transfer really to to the industry because it's complex it's innovative and you have to collect a lot of clinical data and regulatory data so to approve your devices